back when Pokemon Yellow came out, there were a lot of references about another variant called Pokemon Pink that never came out. Also, just really quick, thank you guys so much for 9,000 subscribers. This will be the last video to enter into the $10 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card giveaway. So just like, subscribe, and comment down below after you've done that so you can be entered into the giveaway. And my next video, I will announce the winner. So if you don't know what Pokemon Yellow was, it's a Gen 1 remake where Pikachu was the only starter to pick from. It's very similar to Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, just for a reference right there. Also, most Pokemon games are released with a pair. So there's a pair of two games, Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, you know, Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Pearl and all that. Everyone knows that. So it's kind of strange that there was just one release, which was Pokemon Yellow. Everything really points to Pokemon Pink being that second game though. There's also a lot of controversy of whether it would have been Pokemon Brown because of Eevee, but I actually made a video about that recently, so make sure to check that one out. I personally think Pokemon Pink would have made more sense to release along Pokemon Yellow. I personally think that the Pokemon that would make the most sense to be the starter Pokemon in Pink would be Clefairy. Clefairy was actually planned to be the mascot of Pokemon before they went with Pikachu. They ultimately went with Pikachu because they thought boys and girls would like Pikachu the same, like it didn't fall more in one category if that makes sense. Something really cool that fans have figured out from the Let's Go games is that when you have access to attack the trainers, which I'm pretty sure is at the very end of the game, the trainer is red, blue, and green. Red has Pikachu, blue has Eevee, and green actually has a Clefable, which is an evolved Clefairy. I'm pretty sure this was very intentional by Pokemon because she also has a Clefairy in the manga. Also inside the Pokemon fan club in Vermilion City in Pokemon Let's Go, there are three stuffed plush on a desk where you see Pikachu, Eevee, and Clefairy. Literally just the three of them lined up, which kind of makes sense. You know, like there's the three starters right there that would have been Pokemon Pink and Pokemon Brown and of course the released Pokemon Yellow. I guess you could say that Eevee would have been a release game now and let's go Eevee, but that makes sense because we always have three starter Pokemon in every single Pokemon game. So those three Pokemon lined up literally just makes sense. At the time of Pokemon Yellow's release, Pokemon Pink probably would have brought more girls into the franchise. Not saying that girls didn't play Pokemon back then because they definitely did but it probably would have brought in an even larger audience and it probably would have appealed more to girls that might think Pokemon is a boys game. I also think it would have been really cool to see a pink Game Boy cartridge because back then Pokemon cartridges were always themed color wise, you know, like Pokemon red is a red cartridge, blue is blue. And of course, Pokemon Yellow has a yellow cartridge and I feel like that's something that we still need today. Like why can't they just make a colored Switch cartridge, you know, like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet it probably wouldn't be that hard. It probably would cost them a little bit of extra money, but I just feel like that's something that Pokemon and Nintendo need to do. It makes those Pokemon games feel more exclusive too, because you know, like now it's just like the black Switch cartridge with a picture of the cover art for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet or whatever. But you know, why not just have like a violet colored cartridge and a scarlet colored cartridge? That's kind of hard to say. Scarlet colored cartridge. The game Pokemon Yellow was actually supposed to be more like the anime since Pikachu is a starter and Ash, you know, has a Pikachu in the anime series. So I feel like a little part of the decision to not release Pokemon Pink was to bring more awareness to the anime series. You know, kids probably would have felt more like Ash since they themselves had a Pikachu in their Pokemon game and Pokemon Pink wouldn't just make sense with the anime. Even though I'm pretty sure Ash's first Pokemon was a Clefairy, I might be wrong on that, correct me if I am, but I'm pretty sure that was was his first ever Pokemon that he, like he caught himself. Maybe the game was just not different enough from Pokemon Yellow and it just wouldn't make sense financially for Nintendo at the time to produce another game and sell it. Or maybe like sales at that time just weren't super hot for Pokemon games in general so maybe they thought it'd be smarter just to do one single release and see how it does. But they ultimately changed their mind because now they always release two Pokemon games. It'd be kind of cool if they released three Pokemon games again like they used to, but they probably will never do that again, which is, you know, it's fine, but it'd be kind of cool if they did. Also, something else that's kind of neat and really points out the fact that Pokemon Pink was probably talked about or planned was that uh, a data miner named Dr. Lava found several files and phrases referring to Pokemon Pink or just different files labeled with the word pink. One of the phrases literally said, pocket monsters, pink and yellow, literally pocket monsters, pink and yellow directly from the files so that's just really suspicious literally in the files 
it just says Pokemon Pink and Yellow. There is also even a picture of Pikachu and Clefairy next to each other, which is similar to Let's Go because Pikachu and Eevee have a lot of photos next to each other and stuff in Pokemon Let's Go. With all this being said, I think it's safe to say that Pokemon Pink was at least talked about, or at least planned. It's really unknown if it ever went to development or not. I wish Nintendo would talk about stuff like this, like it'd be so interesting to even get like a documentary just about like unreleased Pokemon games or Nintendo games in general. Like how cool would it be if somebody from Nintendo came out, had an interview about like why Pokemon Pink never came out or why Pokemon Grey never came out, whatever any unreleased Pokemon game, just if we get more information, I feel like it would make sense. And they definitely had the reasons to not release Pokemon Pink. Like I'm sure that there was a solid reason back then. But let me know what you guys think. Would you guys have liked to see Pokemon Pink or not? I personally would have, but I, you know, am fine with it. Also, if you want to play Pokemon Pink, I'm pretty sure that it is a ROM hack. So you could buy like a fan made Pokemon Pink cartridge or just download it on the internet. So if you want to play it, you can still play it. But yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.